Well, hello, friends. I'm Pastor Paul Ortiz, and it is good to be with you as we gather once again across the city in people's homes for Brunch Church for Lent. Uh, these last few weeks have been a meaningful and creative experience after we found ourselves no longer able to gather in the, uh, the building that we were gathering in that could hold all of us. Uh, many members opened up their homes and we've been gathering around good food and tables like this one, getting to know one another, um, reflecting on the stories of Jesus as we uh, journey this Lenten season. Our church council met uh, this past week, and one very exciting thing after voting, after considering a recommendation from our search team, which we are very grateful to, uh, we have affirmed that our new gathering location will be Green Lake United Methodist Church. Uh, this uh, church building opens up many new possibilities for us. The community of Green Lake, the congregation there is very excited to host us and partner with us and find uh, intersections in our works together, um, as well as it, this will help us remain close to the U District neighborhood and continue to partner with all our community partners there. And so friends, as excited as I am to be able to gather all once again, and most likely by Holy Week and Easter, we will announce our move-in dates soon once that's finalized. As excited as I am for this building, I remember the words of Jesus, which we heard today in scripture, that we do not live by material things alone, right? We do not live by buildings alone. We do not live by bread alone. As important as those things are, there is more to life than these things. We don't find our ultimate security in a building, right? We don't find our ultimate identity as a church by having a building. Rather, we find true church, true community in God by our relationships to one another and our relationship to the living Christ. And so friends, that is one of the big things I have been tapping deeper into these past few weeks as I've gone to uh, different homes and celebrating brunch church and connecting with each other and God in more uh, creative ways and in more intimate ways. And so as we go back into a more um, structured church building, which will open up many cool possibilities, may we come from this place knowing that we are already the church with or without a building, and we have all that we need in God and each other. So friends, let's bless this meal, and then there'll be some instructions on how to partake in, um, in communion together from your homes. But let's start with a prayer that people have been praying for a long time. It'll come up on the screen, and it's also in your bulletins. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is right to give our thanks and praise to God, the creator of everything, who out of divine love created us to love one another. Yet when we forgot about this love, when we oppressed our neighbors and exploited the earth, God sent prophets and poets to remind us of God's vision of the kingdom of God on earth. And when we would still not listen, when we continue to turn away, Jesus um, came among us. God took upon flesh and Jesus um, fed the hungry, ate with outcasts, served food to people and gathered in homes around tables. That is how the church started. And that is how the church still continues today. And so we remember Jesus, particularly on that one night before um, he would be unjustly arrested and killed. He gathered with his friends, his beloveds, one last time, and he took bread like this and said, Take, eat, this is my body given for you. Do this and remember me. 
Likewise, after the meal was over, he took the cup and he gave thanks to God saying, this is my life, my blood poured out for you, a new covenant, a new relationship that God is doing with everyone. And so we ask Holy Spirit to come upon these gifts, all the gifts in all the homes and all of us scattered across the city with all the people scattered across the world. But make these elements in some mysterious way, the very body of Christ, that they would transform us into the body of Christ for the world. Friends, though there's many loaves, and I invite um, I invite someone from each home to lift up the bread that you're going to share at this point. So lift it up with me. Friends, though there is many loaves, the, we are one body. The breaking of the bread, of our breads, is a sharing in the very body of Christ. And I invite us all, every person in the room where you're at, to lift a glass like this, like you're toasting to one another, toasting to Jesus, toasting to this divine community that we get to be part of, that we, uh, that we are connected to. And we lift a glass and, and remember that this is a new covenant, that we are all connected with each other and with God. At this time, I invite um, you to begin serving one another communion. In this model, everyone will be able to serve one another and everyone will be able to receive if you'd like. So the way this works, you um, have somebody next to you in the table. I invite you to tear off a piece of bread and turn to your neighbor and say, this is the body of Christ for you. You could also say something else like this is the bread of heaven for you. It's up to you. But whatever you say, you could say this is the body of Christ for you. And then you give it to them. And then they take the bread and eat it. And then the person next to you uh, receives the loaf in their hand. And then they turn to their neighbor and the process starts again. They, they rip off a piece of bread to their other neighbor and say this is the body of Christ for you. And so on and so on. And people keep passing the loaf until um, everyone has gotten a piece of bread and everyone has eaten. And after you eat a piece of bread, I invite you to drink a little bit from the cup as well. Friends, know that in doing this in some beautiful and mysterious way, we are sharing in the very life of Christ and we are dining with Jesus as well as um, all of the saints across time and space and across us, across the city. So friends, let's celebrate and experience that connection we have. Amen.